Hello and welcome to the HW Group Sense Desk video tutorial part 1. My name is Christopher and I'll be guiding you through the dashboard today. Any user with the team admin role can edit the dashboard. The dashboard is very useful for information at a glance regarding the state of the sensors. You can choose which devices you want to see or which locations and groups. First, I'll show you how you can edit the devices where you can choose which devices you would like to see on this first screen. As I already mentioned, for these changes you must have the team admin role. OK, let's click the edit button. Here we have all of the devices which we will choose to appear on the dashboard. Now we have nothing selected and zero selected items shows there. When we add an item, it appears there. You simply click to add and click again to remove. And this will be reflected in the selected items. We're going to activate all of these. And if we scroll down, we can also see device groups and assigned locations. It is exactly the same process for groups and locations as the devices above. Again, you have the selected items, you click, and this will be reflected there. Okay. Now we're going to click Save, and we're back onto our dashboard screen. Now it contains all the information about the devices we have just added. Now it's time to go into more detail about the different states of the sensors. Here we have four states, OK, Alarm, Invalid and Disabled. The big number here has the same function for all of the states. This reflects the information about the sensors which we have in each specific state. And for every state we have additional information. For OK, Invalid and Disabled we have the number of used devices. Only for the alarm state do we display information about the number of alarms in the last two hours. And on the other three states, we display the number of used devices. Okay, so the states. The OK state is green. All of our sensors which are in the OK state, we can see here. This big number is the total number of sensors in the OK state. And underneath is the actual number of devices. The alarm state is red, and in this state we can see sensors which have gone out of sense desk safe range, for example. So our, the sensor needs our attention. And again, any alarms from the last two hours show here. The invalid state is orange. The st this state tells us that something is wrong with the sensor. We may have a faulty sensor, or it may be invalid because the device cannot communicate with the portal. At this point, it is necessary to check the sensor and after that, the device, to find out what is causing the error. The disabled state has a grey colour. Here we have all sensors which we disabled in the Edit Sensor screen. Any time that we click on a state, like so, we will see this screen, All Sensors by State, which we will go into in more detail later. So now, we can either click back or the dashboard link here. So now we're back on the dashboard and here we have the information about locations and device groups. And the same information is shown, the number of locations in alarm, the number of sensors in alarm and the number of sensors invalid and disabled. The last piece of information from the dashboard is the log table. The log table has alarm information from the last two hours. As you can see here, there's quite a lot. If we were to count all of these, we would see that this would add up to 32. There is a lot of information here, but probably the most useful information is the actual state of the sensors and the last state. The last state is information about the state from the last log. And 
Current state is the actual state of the sensor now. It is possible that the last state and the current state will be the same. OK, that's it for the basic dashboard introduction. Thanks for watching the video and I hope that you find this useful.